go. Okay. Uh, we are here with the designer of the new A1 from Musical Fidelity. Am, am I correct? Correct, yes. yes. That's right. And please introduce yourself. I'm Simon Corey. I have worked with Musical Fidelity since uh, 2001, taking a brief uh, break in 2018, uh, whereupon I came back to work and help with Heinz uh, to, to bring the Musical Fidelity back, sound back to the amplifiers and the, and the equipment. Okay. And when did you start to work on this project of the Reborn uh, A1? This was started uh, approximately a year and a half ago after I'd finished the new Vista range. Okay. Uh, well, I was still finishing it off actually, so I was working on several things at once, as I usually do. But um, yes, it just started about a year and a half ago, uh, where Heinz has asked me to, to redo the A1. Um, this time in a slightly bigger case, so it's a full normal hi-fi width of 440 wide and uh, and to um, again to not change the sound of the original so I had a, a bit of a, a battle on my hands so where yeah. I would have to redesign the circuit board with more modern components most of which was thankfully still available but some some of which were, were advanced okay but as for the, the layout of the PC board, is it different from the original yes, or similar? If the layout is different. The circuit topology is, is identical. I have changed nothing in the circuit. Okay, so the circuit is the same. Yes. But the layout of the PCB it's is improved. modified yes. and pre-improved. And what about the components that you used? Um, I used more modern, more stable components. Uh, we have a different set of output transistors because the old transistors are they're still being manufactured, but I've no idea how long the life is. I don't think it's very long anymore. Okay. So I, went, I opted for something that was obviously for longevity, so we can keep this thing going as long as possible. And after the, the study that obviously you did on the original A1 design, which was the weakness of the original amplifier? Well, I did something about it as well. It was the uh, power supply was shared between the two channels. There was one okay. single transformer okay. with one one single uh, AC to DC converter called a rectifier and one set of capacitors. These were then shared out between the two channels. Okay. So, I obviously, that was the first thing I saw. I thought, I don't like that. That's, this is not a very good idea. Okay. Um, so, for me, it's very easy to make a transformer in the same size to split the, the, the windings down okay. uh, into two separate windings. This also makes more efficient use of the winding area okay. and you get um, two channels for the price of one. The transformer is not much more expensive because now okay. you've got the current divided between the two channels. Um, and then obviously the only added extra expense was then an extra AC to DC converter and an extra set of capacitors. Uh, which I somehow managed to find room to get in there, yeah. which was good because, as we, as I said, we expanded the case, so I had a little more room to play with. You expanded with. the case uh, only in uh, is only larger than the original one, or uh, you expanded in all the directions? We expanded it uh, to full 40 wide from whatever it originally was, which I think was 380 or 400. Okay. Um, Height-wise, I think it went up by about five millimeters. Five millimeters. Yeah, okay. yeah, just to make room for the. Okay, but the new effort. transistor are very fast. Okay, the old transistor that used in the A1 are not so fast. Uh, no, the old transistor was a very slow no. one. Yes. yes. Yeah. But this this new transistor that I use in there is yes. from the same generation as the old transistor, but is still being made and in bulk. And uh, okay, so it's a different. Okay. It's a plastic package rather than the old plastic metal, package. Okay. Rather than the okay. old metal top hat T O P. And uh, for for uh, the uh, the potentiometer was the, was the, an the, the, the I remember. We have a, a, a better Alps in there this time, and it's motorized as well. So you ah, it's also motorized have, with the remote control. You have a remote control. You have uh, only the functions, volume, and mute. Okay. So no input selection. No, no input selection. There's no. Um, it's not available anymore. What we used to have a motorized selector, and we felt that it would be too much anyway for the uh, for noise figure and uh, uh, other compromises. So we left it because most of the, most users will adjust the volume from comfort of the chair but when you get up to to change source probably you put in another cd yeah, or you yeah, put yeah, in yes. put another record in okay um so yes and sound wise which are the differences between the old one and the new one i couldn't hear any um i did in did um 
get a better stereo separation, I think, because uh, imaging, sorry, because of the separate um, power supplies now. Okay. But other than that, I think it remains faithful to the original in all ways. Great. So the the the, the its sound, its uh, texture, is uh, it's warm, uh, very identical. Yeah, identical. warm, warm, smooth sound. Yes, that's what Anthony was originally looking for with the with the original. As, um, as was said in the interview just now. Yeah, they yeah, were looking yeah. for valve sound but with transistors. And this circuit, it's the, the way it is done, uh, the way I studied it, and it's, it's a very good circuit for, for reproducing this kind of sound. Mr. Mr. Paravicini did know his, uh, his stuff. Because Mr. Paravicini was the original designer correct, of the... Yes, okay. correct, yes. I did not touch his circuit, I did not want to. <laughs> it's a kind of uh, yeah. sacrilege. <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes, it, yeah. indeed, indeed. I, I, I respect that man's design very much, and I, I hope I gave it uh, good, good justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, I think it's, it was a tough work. Mm, it was. It was. <laughs> it, uh, the next project. The next project. I yes. Am, I am still working on some of the new Vista products. Um, okay. I'm not sure if I can say yet, but uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Something, something, new something new about the new Something new about the new Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, this uh, introduction. Thank, and, uh, thank you for interviewing me and thanks okay. to all the people. And we're looking forward to, to listen to the product directly at home. Oh, you will. You'll enjoy it. Uh, you'll okay. love it indeed. I, I've heard it played with all sorts of music and then I played with my music at home, which, which is the sort of music you use to clear a room in three seconds flat. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it is, uh, it, it works with every music type. It's, it's not um, limited in any way, shape or form. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. Ciao. Allora, saluti, grazie e, ah, e seguiteci sul nostro sito www.audio2g.com.